Exchange. Thanks for tuning in to another newly listed on the CSC clip. And today I am talking to none other than Dave Hodge. Dave is the CEO of a newly listed company called Core Assets Corp. Dave and team, thank you so much for joining us. How are you, gents? Oh, we're good. Good, thank you. Uh, great of you guys to join us. Um, Dave, why don't we start off by you talking to us about Core Assets Corp. What is the vision behind the company? Well, Core Assets uh, is actually a product uh, of our other uh, publicly listed company, Zim2 Capital Corp. Uh, and Zim2 uh, uh, put the opportunity together um, to create a new exploration company that had a solid team of, of, of people behind it. It had Zim2 supporting it. Uh, we um, uh, actually, Nick and I, uh, when Nick was connected with Zim2, uh, we were the ones that, uh, that bought the property from a couple of prospectors. Um, and uh, they came into my office uh, two weeks before uh, Christmas. And I think they were looking for somebody to pay for their turkey dinner. Uh, so uh, we made them an offer. They sold us the property. Uh, um, and in, uh, in Zim2's um, uh, business model, we then intended on taking that property public. Um, we uh, we uh, kind of gave uh, Scott Rose the opportunity to lead, lead that transaction. Uh, uh, to which he's done quite successfully, uh, put 160 shareholders uh, into the company to allow us to go public. Um, and uh, that's what happened on Monday. Uh, so we've got a great property, we've got a good team, and we have a little bit of money in the bank. Um, but I think over the next few weeks, you'll see us uh, uh, beef up the treasury uh, and get to work on the property. Got it. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, you guys started trading earlier this week. Dave, I know you touched on a few points on why you chose to take the company public, uh, as well as the, the team and expertise that you guys have at Zim2. Um, what about some of the, the players that you guys have brought together for this specific company? Are you able to comment on anybody uh, on the team there? There are um, um, uh, two people, and they're both here with me. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, one is Scott Rose. Um, and uh, Scott uh, is looking after uh, uh, the investor relations aspect uh, to start with, and uh, it's envisioned that Scott will move to, to take over running the company on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, in other words, be the president. Um, and, uh, and my associate, associate Nick Rodway, uh, he was the fellow that uh, he and I bought the property uh, made the decision that uh, it had the, the history that would suggest that we can really make something out of this. Um, and that was Nick Rodway. He's a, a, a geologist. Um, uh, he hails from, uh, uh, where do you come from, Nick? Uh, Newfoundland. From Newfoundland, yeah. So he talks funny, um, but uh, he, uh, he at least knows what he's talking about. Nick, do you maybe want to give us a little introduction to yourself and your background? Um, yeah, so I, I moved out to Vancouver in uh, 2015, um, worked with Zim2 for about five years doing project generation and whatnot. Um, I graduated from Memorial University. I do my undergrad in geology and geophysics. And then I recently completed a master's at Queen's University in uh, resource business leadership. Uh, so now I'm uh, working a little more on the corporate side, still doing the project generation and uh, wearing a few different hats here for core assets. Got it. Uh, Dave, of course, uh, you know, between Scott, Nick, um, you guys have a strong team. Um, what are some of the other factors that would say that you would say differentiates a company like core assets from some of your peers that are focused in the same area and are in the same sector? The fact that we're brand new, uh, that's where the opportunity is. It, uh, uh, you know, it just started trading Monday. So if you want to be part of, 
what is the extension of the Golden Triangle. If you want to be part of that, this is a great opportunity uh, to make an investment in a high-risk junior gold copper exploration company come. I invite you to come and be part of, of the core team. What about any milestones investors can look out for? Is there anything you can comment on that front? Well, Nick, so uh, back to the previous question, actually, what uh, I, I kind of look at, look at the uh, differentiations and similarities in two separate ways. Um, you know, one differentiation in my mind is on the more of the uh, share side or the company side is the share structure and also the accessibility of the project. Um, so we have accessibility via Atlan Lake and we have the access to both the US and the Canadian market. If this project was to produce um, some good values and, and later on the road, mine, when it comes to mining, it'd be very cheap to extract our ore. Um, then on the geological side, I would take more of a similarity approach and just say, you know, we're, we are in the, in the right area for regional structures. Uh, if you're looking at porphyry targets on the uh, Western Pacific margin, uh, we, have all, we have all the right ingredients. Um, uh, we have the thrust faulting, um, compressional forces in the area with the Llewellyn Fault Zone, which runs right down through the uh, Western part of BC and, and Alaska. And then uh, with that, you know, the geology is great in the area. Um, and we have um, alteration in the rocks that uh, is indicative of, of um, scar and porphyry mineralization. Um, where can our viewers and, and potential investors follow you guys and kind of keep up with your news and recent developments? Scott? So we have a Facebook, a, co a Core Assets Corp, a Twitter, Core Assets, and the website is coreassetscorp.com. And we're just putting that together right now. It should be done in the next day or two. Okay, perfect. Um, is there any other message that you want to put across to, to our audience that will be viewing and listening to this? Yeah, certainly. We, uh, we've taken a very proactive uh, stance in terms of the COVID-19 problem. Uh, one of those advances that we've made is, uh, is we've equipped our boardroom with uh, high quality video communication. Uh, we will be running a, a Zoom with Zim2 and Core Assets over the next couple of weeks. Uh, uh, those kind of investor calls have been extremely successful for the other companies that have done them. Um, and certainly uh, we'll be able to provide more information and an ongoing update as to where we're at with core assets. Hopefully your audience will be part of it by that time. Uh, we certainly invite you to come and join the team. Perfect. Dave, Scott, Nick, I truly appreciate the three of you gents giving us a little bit of your time today. We wish you nothing but the best of success with your project moving forward. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you, gents. Have a great day.